Oh, what's up everyone, twitch.tv slash gamestager here, and on this video I'm going to show you how to get some of the best weapons in the game in the early mid games. They're very, very easy to get, so you go to this lady on the second floor of the shopping district on the right, she takes photon boosters, which you get from advanced quests, I'm going to show you that in a second, and they are very easy to get. I have 400 of them on me, I'm currently using the daisy chain, that's the sword and the thumbnail, it starts at 875 attack, and yeah, I'm just going to show you all these weapons real fast. There's a bunch of skins in here that are also super cheap. There are only 10 photon boosters, which you could literally get in uh, literally half of a quest. The skin that I am currently using is called Live Cellular. It is the purple one. It works on pretty much every weapon. Just because it shows you a sword doesn't mean it's only a sword. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to Officer Coffee. She's going to have a client order when you're around level 40-something called New Mission Training Forest. This will give you advanced capsules A's. You use those to do advanced quests in the forest. So you'll start up the quest, you'll click on Subquest, you'll click Advanced Quest, then you will click on Advanced Directive Forest. That will unlock capsules for you um, to unlock Advanced Capsule Bs and Cs. You'll do rotations of these, eventually you'll raise your threat level, you need to raise your threat level as high as you can. I have my Volcano at 50, the higher it is, the faster this works. If you have rare drop boost, tri boost, or whatever, and you put those on, it will work even better and even faster. But basically, Everything in here just drops photon boosters constantly. They're just everywhere. I get a ton of her game. I start with 400. If you have a full party, this works even faster because at the end you can start a PSE burst. The PSE burst will make it so you just get constant photon bursts. It doesn't really work very well if you're by yourself, which I am in this, but I still get a ton of photon boosters. You'll see that they're just constantly dropping for me, and by the end of this run, I'll have a bunch more of them. But yeah, if you do this with four people, you could probably get like 100 or so a run. If you use a rare drop boost 250%, you 100% will be able to buy one of those weapons in about two or three runs if you get your threat level up to 50. Advanced quests are also one of the best ways in the entire game to level up, so I highly suggest doing them once you unlock them, and then getting the photon boosters to get whatever weapon type you want. That's pretty much it. What you want to do is you want to start up the advanced quest, you're going to try and get your threat level as high as you can in one location. I picked Volcano because it's super easy. And then you'll just get constant freaking drops, constant photon boosters, and you'll be able to buy pretty much anything in that shop you want. I've already bought in two of the Daisy Chain, and I still have like 450 of these things or whatever. And then, yeah. So, happy hunting. I hope you guys get what you want. The skin that I'm using on this, uh, the spear, the partisan, is the live cellular. That It looks like it only works on a sword when you look at it at first glance, but it tells you it works on pretty much all weapons except for one. So all your weapons end up looking really cool, and when you sheath it, it disappears. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for more PSO2 tricks and tips and stuff, don't forget to follow the channel. Hell yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.